Thank you for taking the time to watch this Tradestone training video brought to you by your Urban Vendor Relations team. Today, we'll be reviewing how to accept a new and revised purchase order in Tradestone and entering the country of origin. Select vendors will also be required to enter their manufacturer information prior to PO acceptance. All vendors are required to accept their POs in Tradestone by navigating to the Accept New or Revised PO query. All new or revised POs will be located in the Accept New or Revised PO query. Vendors can use the arrows at the top of the query box to refresh the number of items in each query. The purchase order number will repeat itself for the number of styles on the PO. For example, PO number 3008952 is listed three times. There are three styles on this purchase order. Vendors may use the scroll bar at the bottom of the query to review additional purchase order information. As you can see, we have one PO in new status and one PO in urban revision. To access the purchase order, select the underlined PO number. Your PO is split into two sections, your PO overview and your PO details. The overview section will highlight important purchase order information, such as your ship window, your PO freight terms, your purchase order delivered to, in addition to the total PO quantity and the total FOB cost. Vendors can also find additional buyer instructions in the vendor instruction section. For additional PO information, navigate to the details tab. The details tab will include specific SKU information. A SKU is an urban number assigned to a specific vendor style, color, and size. In the details section of your purchase order, you can review the total units and the FOB price for each SKU. You will also enter the country of origin for each SKU in the details section of the purchase order. To review additional information in the PO details section, please navigate using the gray search bar. The gray vertical search bar can be moved right and left to review additional SKU information. Prior to accepting your purchase order, all U.S. domestic and EU vendors must enter a valid country of origin. A country of origin is the country in which goods were manufactured, not where goods were shipped from. It is important that vendors enter an accurate country of origin based on the country of manufacture. To enter a country of origin, select the magnifying glass. Vendors can use this field to enter the description of the country. Double click on the country code and save. Vendors can also use the type ahead field using the country code. If all SKUs of the purchase order are manufactured in the same country, you can use the fill down option. Please highlight the field and use the fill down button. This will populate the same country of origin in all SKUs selected. It's important that this option only be used when all goods are manufactured in the same country. Should you have a SKU that's manufactured in a different country, please identify that unique country in the individual SKU line. Again, you can use the type ahead field or the magnifying glass to search for a country based on country description. It's critical that the accurate country of origin be entered for each SKU of the purchase order. Failure to enter an accurate country of origin may result in a chargeback. As mentioned earlier, all U.S. import and own brand vendors will be required to enter a manufacturer ID prior to PO acceptance. We'll review that later in this video. To navigate back to the PO overview, select the Overview tab. Here, you can also export a printout of your purchase order. Under More Actions, PO Report. The printout will give you a high overview of your purchase order, including PO header and detailed information. We encourage vendors to print this document and review it prior to PO acceptance. Once your country of origin has been entered for each SKU, vendors can navigate to the Vendor Accept PO button. The Vendor Accept PO button will change the vendor status from New to Accepted. It is important that vendors clearly review all PO information prior to accepting their purchase order. Your process has been executed successfully. To re-accept a revised PO, please navigate back to the Accept New and Revised PO query. 
select the purchase order number, and review the PO information. Vendors can review all PO revisions in the history box, where the date and type of revision is listed. For specific changes, please compare the new copy and old copy of your purchase order or contact your buyer directly. All market vendors will receive an email notification when POs are revised. Own brand vendors are required to check their purchase order queries for revised POs. Once you've had a chance to review their PO revisions, please navigate to the Vendor Accept PO button. Vendor Accept PO button will change the vendor status from Urban Revision to Accepted. After you've accepted your PO revision, it's important that you review any packing list or invoice documents already created. If your trade zone packing list has already been created and printed, it's important that those documents be revised to include the PO revisions. For questions, please contact the Vendor Relations team. Prior to accepting any purchase orders, all U.S. import vendors and own brand vendors must enter a valid manufacturer ID or referred to as an MID. An MID is required for U.S. Customs Clearance and is required by Urban Regulatory Compliance. On the detail section of your purchase order, instead of entering the country of origin, please enter a manufacturer ID. Vendors can select their assigned manufacturer ID by typing a head or by using the magnifying glass. Use the Show All option to show all manufacturers associated with your vendor ID. If you do not see a manufacturer listed, please follow the MID instructions outlined on the Tradestone Training section of the U.S. Vendor website. All U.S. import and own brand vendors are required to register their manufacturers prior to PO acceptance. By registering a manufacturer, a permanent MID will be assigned. This MID will be required for PO acceptance. Assign the MID to each SKU of the purchase order. If the MID is the same for all SKUs of the PO, please use the fill down option. If your MID differs by SKU, please navigate back to the search table and select the correct MID. It is critical that the correct MID be assigned to each SKU of the purchase order. By selecting the manufacturer ID and saving, the country of origin will populate based on the country affiliated with your manufacturer. Again, it is critical that the correct manufacturer be entered so that the correct manufacturer information and country of origin are assigned to each SKU. All U.S. import and own brand vendors are now required to enter this information prior to PO acceptance instead of entering it on the Tradestone packing list. Once you've entered a valid manufacturer, please navigate back to the overview screen and accept your purchase order. Thank you for taking the time to watch this Tradestone training video. For additional assistance, please visit the U.S. and EU vendor website and respective Tradestone training pages, or contact your vendor relations team.